it's uh, it's a bit too late to say welcome back because you've been here uh, a good while now. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, good uh, good qualifying effort so far, no? Yeah, yeah, we've had speed and qualifying just kind of off a little bit in the uh, start of the heat race. We're, we're always just that tick behind right off the get. Um, the car's got speed, but that first initial lap when we need to attack, we're kind of just either kind of by ourselves or kind of on defense. So we need to switch that around, get ourselves on the offense. And, um, you know, that'll just carry into the heat race, carry through the feature. We put ourselves in a good position. We're just tick off right now. So uh, we'll keep working at it, trying to get a little bit better. So you're, you're maybe one year away from calling this place home at this point. Like, how much do you trust your notebook right now? Are you, are you still making adjustments, or do you feel like what you have is, is good enough to win? Yeah, I mean, uh, our notebook's been really good. Uh, you know, we've had speed and we're in contention to win every night. Um, I don't think it's mainly that. I think. You know, this year we, we had two engines that got hurt in practice night, so it kind of really put us behind the eight ball. Um, you know, all our, our setups and everything were kind of built around that, that two engine packages. So, you know, every engine's built differently. Um, you know, we're just kind of scrambling a little bit to, to kind of get going here. And, um, you know, it changes the way the car handles just a little bit. So we're just, uh, just behind just a tick, like I said, um, you know, but we're working at it. Our car's got a lot better. The last time we were in here, uh, we got our car a lot better than what it was. So excited to get racing tonight. Uh, two more for you. Uh, something that myself and a lot of WA race fans want to know. Is there a specific track in the US that this place reminds you of, or does it share characteristics with, uh, with some place? Yeah, um, you know, obviously, Australian tracks are kind of unique in their own, but uh, you know, like Rico and, and Brad, we were kind of discussing. This place kind of reminds us a little bit of like Granite City at home. Um, you know, some people might not agree, but you know, it's kind of what we see. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, obviously, race is really good. Um, fantastic facility. So it's probably one of the best in the world, I would say, with Motorplex. And, um, always excited to come here and race, uh, much less race in Australia to begin with. So fortunate to be here with the Karen family and uh, hopefully we can get a win. I appreciate the kind words. And last one is, uh, I noticed on the inside of your car, you have a super unique uh, like cockpit setup where your gear shifter and your kill switch are on the right hand side. I'm not sure I've ever seen that before and I want it in my car like yesterday. Like tell it, like how did that come to be? Yeah, so, um, so this is a new car. Uh, new Maxim, but the uh, the older one we run uh, came from from the Kinzer family. So uh, you know that's just kind of what uh, what they did. Uh, you know, Steve and Craig, they, they had their own unique kind of things that they did to their race cars. And you know that the car that we did run, the, the older one, uh, had all that all that stuff. So you know, when we got a new car built, we wanted everything the same. Um, so that's what we did. We just uh, we added the tabs that they had. We took the tabs off that they didn't, and uh, you know, just kind of keep everything as close to, to new old as possible. So it's kind of like a retrofit on a new car. All right, thanks, buddy. We'll see you after qualifying. No worries, guys. Yep. We have been for the last 29 years producing race and championship winning speed car engine.
what changes are we making? Yeah, we were just a little free there in hot laps, so the track's a little slicker than what we thought it would be, so it's uh, just tightened up a little bit here. We got pretty late, so the track's going to be pretty going. But uh, we'll just do it You picked it like a dirty nose, the track went away, and the last group definitely got the short end of the stick. But you still only were 0.08 off the quick time for your group, so I think the tightening up the car was the right choice, no? Yeah, definitely. We needed to tighten the car for sure. Uh, it was better there. Um, just kind of struggled off the two. It just kind of kept sitting left and getting me uh, too low to enter in, in the three where I needed to be. So things we can uh, can fix here and work on. So uh, we know what we need to do for the heat race. We're just uh, third's not the the ideal starting spot, especially with where the track is. But um, it's what we're dealt with. So we'll uh, we'll go from third here. Uh, try to move forward, get ourselves in the dash. So, uh, so uh, every kind of driver that comes over here has, has something of a signature. So I've noticed Rico plays with his wing a lot. Brad has that like signature glowing red brake rotor. Uh, do, do you have a thing like you know, what, what what's Brock Zierfoss known for? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I definitely move the wing around a lot, but um, yeah, it's. Uh, just kind of use my, my my foot really I just kind of pedal the car a little bit more than uh, the most I guess or whatever but uh, yeah just max, trying to get maximum traction man the tracks slick so you just try to keep the the tires on you and keep going so it's uh, yeah we're doing, we all do a little bit of everything Brad uses the brake a lot um, I use some brake but not as much as him um, you know our stuff doesn't really glow a whole lot so uh, yeah just kind of use my my right foot and just kind of keep the, the motor underneath the car and uh, just given the uh, the direction the track's heading, like, are you trying to attack like in the top as quickly as you can, or are you are you going to try and make the bottom work? I think it's going to kind of be just a reaction type thing, uh, you know, you know, kind of go where they're not on the first lap and just try and make something work. Uh, you know, notoriously everybody fights for the top here, so 
Um, maybe depends how it feels in, war, in, the, in the hot lap before the green there. Uh, maybe try and sneak something on the bottom, but uh, we'll just kind of react there and, and see where everybody else goes and see if we can get something done. Uh, last one, uh, you know, you have been here a lot, but still the, sh the competition is something of uh, still kind of unpredictable. It's, it's not like you're racing with these guys a lot. So what's what's the play? Are you are you 100% reactionary or do you feel like you have a game plan for what you want to happen come green? Yeah, it's just uh, starting to learn these uh, these guys a little bit more the more we come here and race with these guys. But, um, you know, they're all getting a lot better too. So. Um, it used to kind of be just kind of a vacation with racing, but now we're now it's like we got to change mindset to uh, to physically race now. So um, yeah, it's uh, learning every time we're on the racetrack. You know, we don't race with these guys much, so uh, you know every time we can see what they're doing and and uh, kind of pick up on little things here and there uh, makes our job a little bit easier. But um, yeah, we'll just kind of react here in the heat race and, and uh, go forward. All right, boss. See you after the heat. Let's go. We didn't really get a chance to uh, to recap the heat there. We'll do that after this, but 
Um, they're doing a bit of work to the track. They're tilling the top and the bottom. So uh, has the has the team adjusted accordingly? Yeah, I think so. We're just uh, trying to prepare for the future. So just get a quick six laps here. Um, starting back farther than we, we should be, but uh, yeah, we'll just give it a shot and, and uh, see if we can stumble upon something. Maybe try something a little different here. So we'll see how it works here. So uh, as, as someone who's uh, obviously never been in this position, like you're going out to a, a completely different track uh, and a freshly worked track. Are you, uh, like what's the mindset going into that? Are you are you just going to attack wherever there's grip? Are you just going to get what you get given? Like you know, what's what's the mindset going into a place like this? Yeah, it's, uh, well, that, uh, as long as they don't put any water on it, it should be kind of close to what it was. Um, just kind of give a little grip there for maybe like three or four laps to kind of clean itself off. So. Just, uh, we'll see here. Hopefully they don't put any water on it. And, um, yeah, they, they need to do something to the bottom, kind of create a second lane anyway. So uh, just try to make it a little easier. We're on the bottom here, so hopefully uh, we can get a good start here on the bottom. Squirt, squirt off there and get a couple cars. Uh, so we'll see when we get back. So we got to recap two races now because I'm a bit of a bonehead and lost track of time. But um, look, the the first seat was a pretty tough go. You were the, uh, the on the receiving end of a pretty tough decision with that that restart, and then a questionable like a restart again. So you know you were you were well on your way to sliding for the lead when the yellows come out, and I felt like enough cars had gone by for that lap to count, but they thought otherwise. Yeah, obviously, uh, I, I guess the ruling is different than what what it is at home, but. Regardless, we uh, we ended up fourth there, so we, we, we were in the dash uh, anyway, but not where we should have been. So um, yeah, kind of a blow there, but um, you know we got we got one car. I think was, I think we got one car there in the dash. So um, you know we had a good good start, good run there. Just uh, you know started fifth in the dash where we could have probably been on off the front row somewhere or up closer to the front. So yeah, just made the night a little bit harder, but you know we keep working at it here and. Uh, 
Yeah, we'll have a good finish here in the future. Now, uh, they, they did rework the track pretty good uh, come dash time, and uh, it really bought in the bottom. You you had a roll in real early, and then uh, I, it, it looked like like you, you kind of went searching for something up high to see if there was something there, and that's uh, that's what got the, uh, I think, one of the Maolos by you there. So is that, uh, is that just feeling the track out and getting the rough end of the stick? Yeah, not really. I mean, like we tried to bottom there and got got up front, but you know this place is notorious for momentum up up on the top side. So it's just a little bit greasy up there for our car to keep uh, keep going forward. And uh, we let uh, I think it was picked and got by us. So we lost one more spot, but you know we, we just uh, kind of feel our fell our car out there and just uh, you know we're working on here for the feature. So the track should be pretty similar to last time we were here. Uh, I felt like our car was really good, um, you know, before we got in that crash. So. Um, we'll kind of go back to what we were there and um, see how we can do it in the future. All right, but we'll see you there.
our boss event full feature and uh, we finished fourth talk us through it yeah got a good uh, good initial well initial start was decent but the the second initial start was even better so we got a really good drive off two and uh, got a chance to get to the top and, and make some speed so uh, passed a few cars that needed to be passed uh, early and uh, allowed us to have our run our own pace and, and run down like Corey and all the guys up front so starting seventh you kind of need to make some move early and uh, and just get rolling so we, that's what we did we, it worked out um, we were a little tight there at the end. Like our car really came on about halfway through and, and started running them guys down, and just kind of judging pace and trying to make it through traffic. And um, felt a little rubber taken on the straightaways and knew it was coming, starting to come in the corners soon. And uh, found a little bit in one and two, just a lane and a half off of the wall. So kind of was trying to work that, but it wasn't all the way through the corner. So I could make it halfway and then I had to slide across. So it kind of broke some momentum. I could really make time to the middle, but. Um, yeah, that, that last restart after that red, uh, we were just, tire pressures were too low, the tires were wore out, we were just too tight to, uh, to get going. So uh, we maintained as best we could, um, had an opportunity to get podium, just was a lap short. Yeah, well, uh, it looked like a pretty interesting track, real dusty and real rocky. We, we said uh, RIP to one of the GoPros that was on the car, so we'll see what's salvageable. But I think you said you got smart a couple of times? Yeah, it was just all kinds of pellets and all kinds of rocks, mud, whatever you want to call it, flying around. So, you know, you get so close to the wall there and you get buried in it, it's just crumbs up there. And they just go flying. So, yeah, I got smoked off the chin and, and right off the knuckle in the same lap, same time, same rock. And made my finger go numb. Luckily, there was a caution so I could get it back. But it's, uh, yeah, it's just part of the job, man. It's part of dirt racing. All right, well, that was a really good night. Tom, you want to take a second to say thanks to the people who make it happen? Yeah, obviously, the Karen family, Gold Star Transport, uh, Valvoline, uh, PTR Financial, uh, MPM Diesel, Daniel Trucking, uh, and everybody involved here. Blue Water Shipping's really helped us out this week, uh, getting motors to and from where they need to go. So uh, there's a lot of people involved in this deal. Uh, you know, Brenton, Damon, everybody here, Sean. They're, they're really working hard, Kenneth, everybody here. So, uh, you know, it takes a team effort to get this deal going. You know, we only race 10 times a year, but it's really nice to have speed every time we're on the racetrack. Hell yeah, dude. All right, well, I'm going to throw a couple of curveballs at you, some quick fire questions. So, uh, we'll go with five, all right? Uh, gas station snack. Oh, man, uh, let's go crunchy. All right, uh, favorite movie? Days of Thunder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, watched, we watched Top Gun, Maverick, and Top Gun reverse on Christmas Day. So. Damn, that's a big yeah, day. A big um, day. If, you could, uh, if you could start a cover band, what band would you cover? Uh, I don't know, maybe probably like uh, like pop rock or some type of rock or something like that. Maybe. All right, um, winged or non-winged? Winged, but. Yeah, and uh, this is the hard one, burger or pizza? Burger. Easy done. Yeah. All right, man, well, thanks for letting me hang around for the night. Appreciate it. No worries, man. Yeah, appreciate it.